Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching NDTV. Tera Sacha Sauda chief and rape convict Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh is set to walk out of jail again ahead of yet another election after the Election Commission approved his parole petition on Monday. Now, this will be his third temporary release in the past nine months and the 15th in the last four years. The release of Ram Rahim Singh, who has enormous influence in Haryana and Punjab, comes day ahead of the October 5th Haryana Assembly elections. In fact, Ram Rahim's furloughs and paroles have consistently Consistently coincided with elections, be it municipal bodies or even state assemblies. Remember that Dera Sacha Sauda chief is serving a 20-year jail term in Rotak Sunaria jail for the rape of two of his women disciples at his ashram in Haryana Sirsa and two life sentences for the murder of journalist Ram Chandar Chhatrapati and former Dera manager Ranjit Singh respectively. Now these are serious crimes but every time he seeks parole he gets relief. Is this not a mockery of the justice system where even under the trials have to go through the grind of months to meet their family members. In fact, the Supreme Court has in the past expressed concerns over convicts languishing in jail despite being entitled to remission of sentences. Is this a complete nexus of politics and religion? And even those at the helm of power cannot dismiss this. Law is equal for all, expect, except those with power and influence. That's what we will discuss today. Joining us... Uh, Joining us now is Raj Singh Rana, who is an advocate and spokesperson of the of Haryana Congress. We yes. have Ashwini Dube, who is uh, a Supreme Court advocate. He also supports the Haryana government in this case. Sunil Gupta, who is a former law officer and spokesperson in Tihar Jail. And we have Hemant Atri, who is a senior journalist uh, uh, from Haryana. Thank you all of you for joining me on this broadcast. To you, uh, uh, Mr. Gupta, first, because you've handled cases like this. I understand that uh, th there is furlough, there's parole, and there are remissions. It, these are all different. They all offer temporary relief uh, from a prison term. But there is no uniform legislation to deal with these things. Different states have their own acts governing the forms of release. What are the rules that uh, state governments look into and how do you see Gurmeet Ram Rahim's, uh, you know, Ram Rahim consistently getting uh, temporary relief uh, from the courts, from the prison authorities, from the governments? How do you see this, sir? Yeah, I will explain you the legal position. Uh, actually, the prison it is state subject. And each state is having its own rule, of own parole rules, own furlough rules, own premature release rules. There is no uniformity. Like I will compare uh, the rules of Haryana with Delhi. In Delhi, a prisoner becomes entitled for parole and furlough when his first appeal is dismissed by the high, high court. Only then he becomes eligible for parole and furlough. But in Haryana, there is no such necessity, and soon you have been convicted, you become eligible for parole and furlough. In Haryana, uh, they, they, they uh, give two uh, parole. Convicts uh, hmm. and one furlough. Two, two these uh, parole uh, these are given for ten weeks. Two parole duration are for ten weeks. And uh, furlough duration is for uh, three weeks. Okay. So, and in, in Delhi, in Delhi, we are having uh, two uh, spells for parole and three spells for okay. five spells in Delhi, whereas in Haryana, they are having three spells for uh, parole and furlough. Okay. So, whatsoever the uh, this he is getting from the Haryana government is. That I understand that is as per the rules framed by the Haryana government. Hmm. The parole is granted by the regional commissioner. In Delhi, parole is granted by the Delhi government, but there it is granted by the divisional uh, commissioner. Of course, if state government is saying, uh, saying him that right. uh, you grant this parole to him or not, hmm. they usually follow. Hmm. Whereas in Delhi, uh, you could be released uh, uh, on five times in a year. Okay, so that but is a difference. Is... Yeah, Mr. Dubey, uh, let me also get the other panelists here. Mr. Dubey, you know, if you look at, uh, you know, the chronology of uh, the kind of relief that uh, Mr. Rahim has uh, received, you know, uh, his last one, January 19th, came just before the Lok Sabha elections. It was the same during, before Rajasthan elections, before 2022 Punjab Assembly elections, he was given a 20-day, 21-day furlough. And then, of course, uh, uh, before uh, the Haryana municipal elections also, he was uh, given a few days off. Why does the government keep giving a convict, you know, who has been convicted of such serious crimes, such special treatment? See, the parole and furlough are governed by the jailman, prison's rule. 
So it is when somebody ap- applies for parole and furloughs, then the government considers it a competent authority. It has nothing to do with the government. How, how, how can com- someone accused of such crimes get a spare? You get a good conduct allow me certificate. To complete, allow me to complete. Allow me to. Yes. There are you just in your open discussions categorized three aspects. One, you said that the remission. You said under trial, the third parole. Yeah. All remission under trial, prisoners and parole. All three are governed by three different statutes. Okay. When somebody is convicted, so he should not be disconnected with the society at large. That is why in the jail manual, it's not in one state. If you see the prison rules of every state, you will find some time for three to four times in a year, parole and furlough is granted. Now one, now two. If somebody is aggrieved by this granting of furlough or furlough, then that may be subject to the writ jurisdiction of that high court. The person may go and say that, look, this gentleman is a serious threat to the law and order of this state or the law and order of the area where he is going and after the uh, releasing on parole and furlough, he'll may commit the crime. Now, third, a member of the prisoner's family has died or seriously is one condition. Two, yes. the marriage of the prisoner, temporary lease of prison is necessary for plugging, sowing, harvesting, carrying on any other agricultural operation of his land or connect with the society. So, parole and furlough has been defined in the prison's rules, prison manual. And if beyond that, some special treatment is being given, that would be violation to it. So, anyone, any prisoner, any convict, has a right to apply, competent authority, either may allow or either may dismiss. Now, two, if you are aggrieved, I am aggrieved or any one person is aggrieved, may always go to the court and we say, look, cancel his furlough, cancel his furlough because of the reason that he is a threat, because of the reason he will come and commit another suicide. Over to you. Okay. Mr. Rana, you know, clearly I do think that this is a stain on the criminal justice system in India. What do you have to say that, sir? Because, you know, even the Congress party cannot be really pardoned because we heard of this whole Darshan case in Karnataka. We've heard of, uh, you know, the kind of allegations with respect to Mukhtar Ansari. Why do people with power and influence either get special treatment while they are in prison or they get release uh, or they get temporary relief like this? Why can't political parties sort of, uh, you know, sort of uh, collectively uh, uh, put their foot against something like this? Ma'am, it is not denied that the, release, the, the giving, giving these paroles is as per law. It is not violation of law. I, I know it. Being an advocate, I know it. But the fact is that the, the timing of the paroles, only before the ele- elections it is given. And uh, there is no other example I find. I have checked on Google also. That such, such a great, great opportunities are given to Ram Rahim Singh, hmm. convict Ram Rahim Singh, not to others. Just for the sake of the elections only, legally it's, it's all right. Legally there is no, nothing wrong in it. But when we go through it, it is only Ram Rahim Singh, no other convicted, uh, convict person is given such benefits, such perils, perils. I haven't heard that. Every time he is coming before elections, then he is going back again after elections. He is coming in panchayat elections. He is coming in municipality elections. Now, before Lok Sabha elections, he was out. Again, before the assembly elections, he is out. So it is very strange. And it is misuse of law, I I can say. Because there is a provision in law, but that is for everyone. Every convict has the right. Hmm. But here, the only one person has the right to avail such benefits, such, such a... Right. I'll get Mr. Dubey on that. But first, uh, let me also bring in Mr. Atri, who's been waiting for long. Uh, sir, you're a journalist. You've tracked Haryana. What is the kind of influence that Ram Rahim has? Despite being a criminal, we've seen, uh, you know, cult figures like Rampal and, of course, Ram Rahim. We've also seen that in UP. But Deras have a specific political social significance when it comes to uh, Haryana and Punjab, especially with regard to the Dalit vote. What kind of political social influence does Ram Rahim, Gurmeet Ram Rahim, have in the state of Haryana? Do you think that he is capable of influencing votes. See, certainly, Vasundra, that's why he has been, you know, released every time there is an election. If you go by the chronology from 2020 till date, it is fourth year in a row. And today, very shortly, maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow, he will be coming out 11th time. 11th time. And several of those times were once the election is on. 2022, it started. It started with Punjab Assembly election, if you recollect. Yeah. Then it was Haryana. 
the local bodies election then it was adampur by election then it was haryana panchayat elections then it was you know rajasthan assembly elections 2023 last year hmm. then parliament elections and now he came back on 2nd of september recently just hmm. 30 days back and now he is again being you know released on the same furlough or par- parole for that matter vasundhara ji you will be amazed to know what haryana government do did in 2022 they did away with the provision of uh, you know giving the reasons for parole anybody can apply for parole without giving any reason and you will again be shocked to know what the government has done this time the government of haryana basically what they did they did away with that uh, provision of you know doing away with the reasons now this gentleman is coming out on an emergency parole and vasundhara ji what is the emergency can you believe it it is his father's death anniversary which will be celebrated not in bagpat that will be celebrated in the dera headquarters okay. where he can't go hmm. he can't go there can't so go. what is the real meaning of him being released on this furlough hmm. or for parole for that matter number one and the second emergency is even more you know a mockery of the things hmm. basically the dera will be celebrating carcination of mr you know dera ram rahim 20 years or 30 years back way back now they will be celebrating but this man neither can participate nor he can go to the sirsa dera right. so what is the emergency emergency parole there so the reason is see the chronology of the things 24 hours back if you recollect hmm. what ceo haryana elections did he specifically asked the convict has asked for a emergency parole hmm. the reasons what are the pressing reasons for which he should be given right and you know then the application was again moved Hmm. that these are the two emergency reasons hmm. do you find any of these as a emergency reason okay. this is the whole mockery of that thing okay. as you, as you mr dubey that's it. a very important point that you're making mr dubey yeah. you know also given that family members the son in law especially of gurmeet ram the king has been uh, you know with the congress earlier then with the bjp so i'm blaming all the parties here his uh, you know his uh, organization is also be no is also known to the have supported only parties in the past is that bjp is losing the elections in state so that it is okay. an emergency for the bjp and he is being he is being compelled to come out okay mr mr come. dubey you know and and also the administration making it making the process easier for him do you don't you think that is something that uh, governments and those at the helm of power should be completely avoiding at least in in some sense stopping this abuse of power vasudha uh, do we have any record that how many convicts have been denied parole in farlo do we have any instance to say that look this gentleman has been given the benefit of parole and furlough under the prison rules mm. but i have not been given then it it would be unjust unfair improper but if somebody under the prison map mm. have been enlarged on furlough and furlough for a particular part the court always say as re- you need to be reformed What is the purpose of remission? Also, look, the remission is the wider aspect. Absolutely, wider Mr. Co- Dubey, but it is also the job Please, of the government minute, and law enforcement agencies. I have not completed. I have not completed. Yes, sir. Please. Reforms. Remission means the reforms that I have reformed being in jail for so many periods. That likewise, parole can be granted in case of short term, for a short term, when to provide a humanistic approach towards convicts lodged in there. The main purpose is to afford. convicts with an opportunity to resolve their personal and family problems to enable them to maintain their links with the society this is specifically enumerated written in the prison manual hmm. and if anyone i i am saying i myself is if aggrieved by anything i can to go to the honorable high court under article 226 of the constitution of india that look election is happening such bigger biggest political parties are involved in the election okay they may go and they may say look he may influence the election where is the bar we always we all know we all know being a student of law i also know that he is a convict but in remission if you see after 14 years in a murder case the courts or the competent authority or the state enlarge somebody on remission if he has reformed so it's an act to connect with the society it's an act so that one should not be disconnected with the society and that is the basic purpose of the very person should be given to uh, to maintain the links okay that is so so we wish it is like that sir thank you so much so clearly it's a legal issue it's a moral failing but of course more than that and completely you know an unfair system sometimes favoring the uh, powerful whatever it is yeah. it definitely and is the duty the of the administration to ensure that the principle of fairness of is not undermined thank you all of you for joining me on this broadcast